how's it going today guys trucks and water and this is a long time video coming i know you've all been waiting for but finally brooke is lifted that is right she is now on the three and a half inch coil over kit by rough country with the upper control arm upgrade the coil over upgrade the remote reservoirs shocks in the back with the remote reservoirs eight way adjustability i misspoke in the last video and said it was a 10 way adjustability it's actually eight way adjustability and i can't be any more thankful huge shout out to ast off-road my buddy colt and his guys down in newton Georgia for hooking me up with this kit and the falcon 33 inch tall tires it absolutely changed the look of this truck it looks like an actual truck now and not a prius with a bed it absolutely looks fantastic i know a lot of y'all been waiting on this for a very long time i've been waiting on a very long time it may actually be one year with brooke one year with the taco been a very very good year with it don't really have anything to complain about but that video will be coming up soon on the one year review of the taco and is it worth it so we will see but anyways so a lot of you have been waiting on it this is not the final setup i will be having a show set up not going to reveal what that is just yet but i am going to be having a reveal set up this was at rod run at the end of this video you will see a bunch of little clips from rod run it was a good time hung out with some people up there saw some people sorry i couldn't meet up with everybody it was just i wasn't up there for the weekend I just went up there for the day with my uh, beautiful girlfriend my buddies and their fiancés and girlfriends and stuff like that a lot of you have been been wondering what my thoughts are on this now I will be get, doing a final video on the thoughts on this. this is kind of just a walk around of it and everything like that. So in the back, like I said, we've got the shocks with the remote reservoirs. Uh, these, are, these are absolutely stupidly beefy, as you can see. They're a massive shock uh, on this truck. I mean, just absolute beefness. In the front, of course, we have the coilover kit with the remote reservoirs. I mean, just absolutely monster of a shock. I mean, these things are just stupidly big um, on this truck. Um, Fox Toyota is the one that installed. That's where I bought my truck off of. You all know that. They installed it so that way I could keep my warranty. Major thing, guys, I wanted to keep my warranty with this truck because, well, I bought the warranty. So I want to keep it. So I just, I can't be, it's just awesome. Like it just gives this truck a whole new look, a whole new stance. Like it's just, it's so much better of a truck. Um, now if we get inside the cab, which I actually now have to use my steps kind of to get in the truck, which is nice. You can look out and it's not as big. Like you don't really can tell how big it is up here, but it's when you step out of the truck is when you can tell how actual big it is. Pretty much that's it, guys. I mean, it's it's pretty much done. The truck is, part one is done. Like I said, I'll be going down in a whole other video of everything done in the truck, but I know y'all been waiting a, a long time on this, so uh, let's hop in and go for a drive. Apparently where I'm filming at right now, side note, there's a, uh, apparently it's uh, early walks around day because I keep getting stared at by um, people that are, a little bit older than me and they don't understand i guess that i can talk to a camera and whatnot but anyways driving the truck um now they did say hunter has these tires as y'all know um, my buddy hunter he has these tires on his um tacoma now it's not lifted like mine is but um he said there's about a thousand mile break-in period where they really smooth that and they really come really co now don't get me wrong they're a very comfortable tire and i will say at interstate speed 70 75 there is literally no road noise like, i cannot tell i'm rolling on these uh falcon at3s and i'm very impressed with them um the guys at fox that installed my kit they said give the suspension about a 500 mile break-in period before you start adjusting the clickers let the suspension settle out and um anything like that now the front end does sit right now a hair bit higher than the rear and um, they think that it might settle out to where it comes level we're not entirely sure yet but what we will do though is if it doesn't you can of course adjust the coal overs to where it does settle out so yeah, i'm not looking to do like a squatted look at all by any stretch of the imagination um driving it though i have driven it in a bunch of different scenarios back roads on roads you know stuff like that and it drives very very well like i said in a different video i'll be doing the economy test 
my, my exact same two routes I have now. Granted, I do have the cold air intake on this truck and the hotter coils from a Rip Performance Supercharger, which really has helped out this truck. I had, before you all lift your Tacoma, guys, I highly, highly recommend um, doing those mods before you do because it really helps out this truck. But other than that, guys, she tracks straight. They're aligned. Now, Fox, what Fox did do is realign all my sensors. So my active cruise control works, my sensors work, everything works as factory as it should. And that's, that's one of the main things you gotta watch out for when lifting these newer trucks is you gotta make sure you readjust your sensors, your speedometer, all that stuff will really help you out in the long run. But no, she, she tracks straight, she's still plenty of power. I mean, yeah, it may downshift a little bit more than it normally would when I was on the stock wheels and tires, but that's part of the game. But it drives pretty much like factory. I don't really have much of a difference. It is a little stiff. I have them set on four right now. That's the middle ground of these uh, shocks with the adjustable reservoirs. They are, like I said, set on four. So I'm gonna probably switch it down to three and see if it like lightens up just a little bit. It's a little bit stiff, especially over some harsher bumps. But um, other than that though, it, it drives phenomenally. It just looks good too. It looks like I don't, I'm not driving a stock truck anymore. And I, can actually, I actually look down on people, not at people in cars, which is what you should be doing in a truck. <laughs> but um, there you go guys, pretty much that's it for right now. I mean, of course, more content coming. This is just part one of this build. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you stay tuned for the fuel economy run video and also the uh, part one overview build and why this is the best daily setup for your Tacoma. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You're on the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, and trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams. All right, guys, how's it going? Trucks and Water here, and this is Spring Rod Run. We are not staying up here. Um, I'm just up here for the afternoon. Um, just meet up a bunch of people and my beautiful girlfriend. So we're going to go up and see what's going on. We're supposed to meet up with Zach and his lifted F-150. Um, we're just going to have a good time, hopefully not get pulled over. So we'll see about that. So it should be fun.